Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the next part of same series. I'm Bakar Ahmad. Well, in today's video, we are gonna discuss present progressive or present continuous, right? So, as usual, I would like to start off first of all parsing the structures, analyzing the structures, right, that I have written for you on the board. So, let's start. And even before that, I would like to mention here why we actually use present progressive or continuous, right? We actually use present progressive or continuous, both are the name, to express actions or situations, right, which may or may not be going on at the time of speaking. I'm repeating again, which may or may not be going on or happening at the time of speaking. Let's just start discussing the structure. First of all, subject we put the first subject as we have done in all previous categories then plus b is m r was were uh, been and been these all verb forms come from the word b right these come from the b plus then verb main verb obviously since these are auxiliary verbs right so we have to use a main verb now here's the question what should be the form of main verb are we going to keep the first form Maybe for some people, they are going to say yes, first form, plus I-N-G. To that, I give the answer, it might be wrong. And you know why? Because let's look at the spelling. If you say that we have to use the first form plus I-N-G, let's take an example here. If I write down the word smile, let's, according to the people's opinion, we add here I-N-G to make the fourth form which is wrong look at the spelling of smile do we really do no we don't do the spelling of a smile like this nobody might so it's it should be eliminated it should be uh, omitted so i say we have to use fourth form simply which is present participle as well right so keep that in mind then extra word or object Actually, both are slightly different, but I'm not going to discuss what the difference between them is in this part. Subject plus, this is the negative structure, subject plus is MR plus not, obviously, to show negation, plus fourth form of main verb plus extra word. Moving towards the interrogative, interrogative begins with helping verbs or auxiliary verbs or modal auxiliary verbs to make question right is mr obviously surely we are going to use one of them according to the nature of the subject if this is first second or third persons plus subject plus which form of verb surely fourth form or present participle plus extra word now let's look at some example sentences with present continuous or progressive tense category look at the first one i have written i am teaching present continuous or present progressive so this is the action which is happening or going on at the time of speaking here our first definition is really approved right it or it gets vouched next one negative they are not enjoying learning english so this is the negative right and they are not enjoying learning english so here i am showing negation in the present moment that something is not happening right or not going on moving towards the interrogative let's take an example with that as well are you teaching english too so here i am teaching present continuous i said and i have now changed the sentence using the second person pronoun you and english too right which is an adverb i guess so are you teaching English too? This is the question which confirms if uh, one more action by you is happening, right? So these were the three example written sentences on the board that I have analyzed and spoken verbally as well. Now I would like to speak some more example sentences with present continuous or progressive for you to make you better understand, right? Let's start. She is learning English rapidly. Or they aren't taking tea, are not, I mean to say. Or do they, is I'm sorry, present continuous, are they really strutting looking at you, right? It means are they being trying to become efficient 
or trying to show their bad attitude or being arrogant looking at you just to make you feel jealous right so these were three more example sentences now from now onwards i am going to discuss the usages of present continuous or progressive tenses so let's move now the first one as i have already mentioned that we use present progressive for temporary actions and situations going on around the movement or in other words you could say that uh, may or may not be happening at the time of speaking now i would like to change the marker hmm. now second usage for changing and for changes and developments so present continuous uh, tense category is also used to to you know talk about the changing and developing situation for example my brother is getting bigger or he's, he's getting my brother is, is getting you know taller i could say right so this is changing situation right or developing situation actually now let me take you uh, through the further examples of this one same usage which is the weather is or climate is getting uh, warmer or the weather is getting a scorcher or hotter right so these are also examples of the same usage of present continuous let me take you one step further than before which is for the regular or repeated actions events modified by what does this mean what does that mean actually they can what happens is for regular or repeated actions uh one more thing i would like to uh, listen if i say if i say that when i am teaching english actually we are going to look at these examples over here as well when i am uh, discussing uh, very often but these both are little bit similar to each other right so let's look at for this one first one if i say when i am teaching english you are always disturbing me right so you are always disturbing me is the repeated action right so i am using present continuous even to express or indicate this action which is repeated getting my point so next one whenever i uh, reach my uncle's house he is washing his uh, gallery or balcony right so this is also repeated action similarly with always continually or similar words we use even present continuous tense or progressive tense category to mean very often something happens very often right and specifically in those sentences we are going to add always continually and the adverbs similar to it for example you are always lying right it means you very often lie whenever you are you get asked by your father where had you been you just lie getting my point so uh, i had mentioned that both are slightly the same but they have difference right which you might not recognize right now moving towards the last but not the least for personal arrangements and fixed fixed i'm sorry not fixed I must add here uh, plans right for fixed plans specifically of which when time and place have been decided so we even use present progressive or continuous to talk about the future we, we use this tense category even to talk about the future when time and place have been decided right or for our arrangements and fixed plans fixed plans actually let me take you to the example the first one i am uh meeting my friend on monday or i am seeing my friend on monday time is decided right next my family is going to beach place is decided getting my point so these were two example sentences of 
uh, this one usage which I have mentioned so I hope you got it and specifically you got the clarification of the much we have discussed so far and if you have any question feel free to pose them below so that's all for at least this part and inshallah see you again in the next part till then take care and Allah Hafiz, Jazakallah for watching the video.